Hi everybody, I uh, just want to do a weekly review here of what's been going on in the stock market between the September 26th and the 30th. Um, so basically, uh, this past week, uh, it's been kind of a downward week. Um, in general, you can see on the charts here, um, we had a little bit of upturn yesterday, uh, followed by a downturn today. So if you look for the charts for the week, uh, you can kind of see uh, in general, there's been some uh, pretty serious downturns here. You can see Apple with a negative uh, 6% down, and almost 7% downturn. Uh, some other companies within uh, electronic consumer electronics going pretty far down. Um, and then you can also see Tesla going down quite a bit um, and some others. Um, for the month, um, you kind of see that we did have some positive gains uh, for healthcare industry, a little bit of a game for Netflix there, um, and some others, but uh, in general, it was a pretty bad month. You can see 10% down down month, so for Apple, 10% um, down for Google, and about 10% for Microsoft, so a little more than 10% uh, for each of those, but seriously down week, week and month. So I don't know if you can see this very well, but down at the bottom, it shows uh, each industry, so you can see technology is uh, red here, uh, and then communication services is a kind of an orange color. But you can see um, basically uh, each of these sectors as I cross them, financial services, healthcare, energy, consumer defensive, utilities, industrials. Industrials looks pretty interesting, kind of a wide range there. Basic materials and then real estate. So in general, the 5% line is right down here. So you can see most of them doing a little bit better than 5%, but maybe around 2% for the week, 1%, uh, 2% down or so. Um, now here's another chart that I really like. This shows one week performance um, for each of the companies with price to sales ratio on the X axis. So, um, and the size of the bubble is basically the market cap. So the bigger the company, you can see the bigger the bubble here. So here is Microsoft, one of the bigger ones. You see kind of a leader out here, um, but price to sales, as the price to sales ratio gets further out, it's actually not good on the right. So you wanna kind of be uh, closer to the in, inside here. Um, Exxon Mobil, you can see some others uh, in, in, in bigger corporations in here. So, uh, but basically that's one way to look at it. Uh, so you can see that the average volume was really on uh, Tesla's side here um, for uh, average volume. Uh, you can see quite a lot of volume there. Um, and then next is Apple. Um, and then you can see Amazon and Microsoft Corporation. So a lot of these companies trading uh, quite a number of stocks. Um, and actually going down quite far. So you can see this is down to 6% or more um, with uh, Tesla and Apple for uh, the week here. So that's quite uh, disturbing for a downward trend. There was a number of major economic releases uh, this week. On Tuesday, there was quite a number of them. Um, and then there's also the Fed speaking this past week. Um, and on the 28th, there was a number of other ones, 29th, and then we have 30th, we have quite a number of ones on Friday, including the PC price index. So the price index is a pretty important one to be watching out for. That'll be 8.30 in the morning. So that'll be before the stock market opens, fortunately, so at least we'll be able to see what the results are uh, before. So now this wasn't really this week, but it's an ongoing crisis, uh, the war in Ukraine, uh, of course, uh, Vladimir Putin did partial mobilization of the Russian uh, forces uh, on the 21st, but uh, it's important to realize that the war is still going on. And then there's a couple other news uh, news reports, some annexation of various parts of Ukraine as well. So on the buy side, um, you see a number of companies here. This is kind of a filter I use just to kind of see so what's going on. Looks like energy is doing still pretty good. Shell, Total Energies, so on. Uh, some mining companies, uh, building materials as well, being pretty good. Uh, and then on the sell side, you see Workday, CrowdStrike, Block, Block, and some others. Um, but uh, it's looking pretty uh, tough actually on either side. So let's get into the actual technical side of the presentation. Um, you can see here, these are the last four days here, uh, Friday being the next day here. Um, but uh, basically uh, into last week, so last week was perhaps maybe far worse um, than this week. Um, but we can see this coming into this week, we had a little bit of an up uptrend, maybe you could say. Um, and then, uh, you know, Monday, this is Monday here, right? And this was Tuesday. 
uh, excuse me, so this is Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, yeah, so, so Monday, you can see, is pretty much was a start of the week here, and we had a positive force right at the start of the day here, so Monday was looking pretty good, uh, and then it just kind of fell down here, um, and you see the force index kind of shows negativity there, uh, maybe preparing us for a bad Tuesday, so the Tuesday was looking really bad, um, you can see that that was pretty the main downward spike for the week except for today Thursday so we kind of had this uh, pretty good uh, we had this pretty good Wednesday right overall so Wednesday was looking almost all solid uh, positive yesterday so that's a pretty good sign um, but and that maybe came some somewhat from Monday a little bit from Tuesday you can see there's two little spikes in here um, now the volume side of things uh, a little bit more complicated to take a look at we can take a look at those as well so interestingly, for the positive volume, the positive volume that we saw was pretty much on Monday. That was the most highest volume you can see right in here in this chart. And then on the volume indicator, it shows the best, highest volume. Um, we did see some pretty negative volume today. Um, it was actually the worst of the week um, on Thursday. You can see on Tuesday, that was also pretty bad, but actually today was even worse. So that's not such a good sign. Um, so the good news is that when you compare Thursday versus uh, Wednesday, Tuesday, uh, you can see Tuesday had uh, a little bit more positive. There's some positive here, but actually there's even more positive volume uh, on the day. This is a pretty solid negative day, right? Uh, most people would consider that a pretty negative day overall um, relative to what we saw today on Thursday. So what will we see on Friday is the question, right? So uh, basically, we did see some accelerating uh, negativity on the, not necessarily accelerating, but uh, increasing negativity on the positive volume side. Let's look at some other charts to better understand what's happening on Friday. So I'm switching over to the SPY temporarily just to see the S&P 500 chart. Uh, we were looking at the futures for the MES before. Uh, but basically, you can see that we're starting to curve over here on the MACD, so you can see that we basically are in a we were in a pretty negative downtrend, and now we're starting to see some slowing down of that downtrend. So we're still in a negative downtrend, um, but some slowing down of that. So it's likely that we will see a slowing down in the downtrend uh, tomorrow, um, and maybe even positive side of the day. Um, but it looks like it's still pretty downtrendy, uh, at least on the MACD. Now on the uh, volume oscillator, you can see we just ended in a positive day of volume the other day, um, which looked, looked pretty good, and then negative volume today. Um, and the question is, where will that go from here? It looks to me like this is starting to curve around quite positively. So at least on the vo volume side, uh, it looks like we're starting to look a little bit better uh, for some reason. So I think that one candle of positive volume here kind of changed everything. You can see that that's a pretty high significant positive volume candle. So this candle here was actually above the candle here, and it's even above a little bit of here. So you can see, uh, maybe not. So uh, it just depends on the actual volume. So we're at uh, 100 and 12 million shares sold today for the SPY. So the bad news is that over the past month or so, we've seen an increase in the force of negativity. Um, that's really bad. So <coughs> you see when you take the price times the volume, you can kind of see that this has all been kind of increasing here on the negative side. We did have that positive kind of week here, um, but uh, it just in general, after that, it really just spiked downward and continued on. And even nowadays, it's looking pretty bad as well. So, And you can also see the money has been flowing out of the market. Um, so you see the money flow here. This is dropping here, went back into the market and dropping. So basically, uh, it's looking like it's maybe at the lowest it could be, but uh, we're not so certain on that yet. It could be a little bit down uh, for the next couple of days, but it's certainly getting pretty low um, on the money flow index. So we should expect some kind of turnaround, uh, potentially. Now the RSI does show that we are oversold, so you can see here that uh, potentially we've been oversold for a little bit. Uh, we kind of came back up, but uh, so it could potentially be a turnaround anytime. Uh, quite soon here it would be expected. And in general, we've been in a pretty serious negative downtrend uh, for quite some time, with not even a little bit of an uptrend maybe back in here around last week, uh, not this week. So. Uh, but this week is still a pretty negative downtrend.
Now you did see on the stochastic that there's potential for a trade off tomorrow. So this is a potential update uh, tomorrow, uh, at least on the stochastic, but it looks like it was kind of waning a little bit here. So maybe not, uh, but potentially a positive day for uh, Friday. So the only concern here is that on the MACD, you see that basically the MACD is still pretty low. So for a turnaround to actually happen, MACD has to make a pretty abrupt turnaround at this kind of negative level. Um, it's pretty negative, almost as negative as, as it can get um, for the MACD. And we can kind of zoom back and look at other days. And this is going all the way back to COVID land. So this is coronavirus. So really, we are at a pretty low point right now in terms of selling pressure. Um, it's unlikely to see too much lower, um, at least according to the MACD. But we could kind of go up for a little bit and then go down and do some ups and downs um, before even getting back to positive land here. So unfortunately, the, maybe the monthly chart shows us the better graph of what's really going on. We can see that there are some sectors, healthcare doing pretty good um, over the month. Um, and then over the week, you can kind of see some details as well. So you see a couple of details, home improvement doing pretty good. Um, and then some sectors within the technology doing okay this past week. But uh, overall, a pretty red chart. Um, and likely to see maybe some uptrend just because we're so far negative right now um but yeah so when we compare ourselves um you know basically to the 2008 uh recession um you can see that we are quite far down even now and we can compare ourselves to that downward trend so we kind of had a big downtrend and then an uptrend and then a downtrend we're kind of in the middle of a downtrend right now looking at possibly uh the lowest that we can get um, but then maybe another uptrend and then followed even by a further downtrend. So we don't really know yet um, what's happening. But on the MACD levels, we do see that we are quite low um, on these charts. And so here you can kind of see the confirmation that we are lower than we were uh, back in the 2008 uh, the recession. So uh, that's quite uh, low right now. And we're even back in the COVID land territory. So we kind of went back up here a little bit because of this upward trend. Um, so technically, we're kind of a little bit doing a little bit better than we were doing in 2008. But this was quite a scary little chunk downward trend. It looks like in the general, we're going to be worse off uh, with this little recession than we were in 2008. And I can add uh, 2001 here as well. And you can see uh, there was kind of number of bumps in 2001. And it looks like if we see something like that, that went on for... Uh, quite some time. Uh, 2008 kind of like recovered once it, it had a pretty big pocket here, um, but then it kind of recovered. So it looks like we might see something more closer to what we're seeing in 2001 with maybe some bumps. And if those bumps go on, you know, that could be in 20, 2024 even. So pretty scary. One super interesting thing is that the volatility has basically been increasing a lot. Right. We are way above volatility levels that we saw back in 2009. And even when we were doing OK uh, here, back in here, we were still above 2009 volatility levels. So um, the kind of ups and downs we've seen have been ginormous. Um, you know, even on a regular sunny day, we're seeing, um, you know, volatility that's way above 2001, certainly. Um, and volatility that's uh, basically around 2009 levels. So if I were to measure that, that's about 20 points a week. Um, so that's about that range on the chart. If you see right there, I did that. That's about 20 points, which is about 5.5% per week. So we're seeing 5.5% change, changes. We should keep expecting that at least until the next year. So this looks like it's really not going to come down. Um, it can maybe be 2.2% a week. Um, but uh, certainly a lot of big moves uh, happening in the market. So going back uh, this week, you know, here we are, uh, you know, Thursday, uh, Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday. So Monday we did see sort of a positive change um, heading into the open here, uh, and then negative, and then we got back to a positive change, negative. So this looks like it's in general been getting better um, over the week until basically today. So basically Thursday really changed the whole picture of everything. Um, this you could say is a, a divergence um, because basically the MACD looks to be going up uh, and this price looks to be going down. So this is a divergence signaling a possible turnaround. But with this new um, potential low, which it really wasn't a new low, you see that this would have to be here to be um, uh, 
considered not to be a divergence. So if we go back to here uh, into the week prior, we still are on a divergence trend. So you should be looking for some positive um, upward trend perhaps on Friday. Um, we're just pretty low as it is. Um, and we do see the divergence here on the chart. Anyway, I hope you've really liked this uh, review of what's been going on, technical analysis, and then just overall looking at the market. Let me know if you got any questions. I'd be glad to discuss uh, privately with you about what's going on in the week per day or per week or per month or whatever. So give me a text. Please like and subscribe, and I'd really be thankful. Thank you so much. Uh, see you later. Ciao.